Uh, anyone heard of a man named Greg Berlanti? Um, in case if no one has heard Berlanti. that name, he is the guy that pretty much launched the Arrowverse on CW. He was a big part of uh, uh, shows like Arrow and The Flash and uh, uh, I guess Supergirl, Bad Woman, those types of shows. And uh, his name is being floated around um, as taking over that job. And I'm sure DC, Warner Bros., they have many options on the table that they're still exploring. There was just an article uh, from Variety that was mentioning uh, this little nugget and a whole other bigger article about um, the weird place that the DC movies and the franchise is kind of in. But the, the part that stuck out to me was just Greg Berlanti's name being brought up because... I'm, I haven't looked deep into like how fans have responded to this stuff, but I imagine it's either that would be a good call or that would be the most horrible decision ever made. Um, me, I'm, I'm more in the middle about it personally. I mean, while I wouldn't say I love all of those Arrowverse shows and they definitely are very uh, CW centric, they're very much for the CW crowd. I do think he did do at least a good job uh, in like the roots of it all. I really did like the first two seasons of Arrow, the first two seasons of Flash. And then I think over time, the CW just became even more CW and he had to work within the brand, the company that he is associated with. So I don't really blame him too much about, you know, the production values of those shows, about the writing of those shows, because he probably, it was probably just a company thing and he had to work with what he got. But I do think he did show some promise anyway and he did do a good job at at least you know looking into the source material knowing what uh these dc properties are like and is able to take some of it and put them into the shows to a degree and i'm, I'm sure that he has the business sense i mean yes movies are different from television but at least he has the experience and he has worked in you know films before i mean i remember that he directed that movie love simon um and that ended up being a pretty good movie i really uh thought it should have gotten more love so it's not like he's totally unknown to the film industry he's just more centered in the television land um so if his name was the guy um would i be totally upset no not really um could they have found other people to do it that's probably true too but at least it's a name that's being floated around that isn't totally unorthodox or makes total uh incomplete sense at least in my opinion i think there at least is some promise to it but again there is no other kevin feige you can't just pluck a kevin feige so it's not like any of these new guys that they're going to bring in are going to be kevin feige but at least with this guy's credentials and what he's worked with in the past um i get it and i'm not totally worried about if that's the guy they choose or not hmm Mm, I don't know. Uh, the idea of this Kevin Feige thing is just stupid to me. It's idiotic. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I don't yeah. want to bash the guy. He's probably a great guy. He's made some good stuff, but he's written a lot for these shows. He mm. worked and wrote on what looks like every episode of Flash and Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl. Uh, he wrote for you and developed you and people really like that show. That gave me the most oh. promise. I agree with you that the first season and first couple seasons of Arrow is very good. First couple seasons of Flash was pretty good. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is who I want running it. Uh, I like that he seems more nerdy since it seems like forever he's been working in the nerd world. Um, but if they're looking at him to do it, uh, man, I just don't know. Yeah. I don't know. These CW sucks. They don't have great it's, it's, content over there. They've lost so much. Like the flash had it in the uh, flash and arrow had it. Jane, the Virgin wasn't that CW. That was a good show that people really love, but it, these are far and few between Kevin Feige. It, I mean, we, we people are so stupid with ha Kevin Feige. Didn't sit down and go, I got a 10 year plan. Marvel, not even a little. He said, mm -hmm. Hey, Let's make an Iron Man movie. I got this idea for an Iron Man movie. Maybe let's put a little teaser out here. I've got this vague idea to maybe make a couple standalone movies and we could try to get an Avengers movie that they all kind of connect to be kind of cool, but they had to work. Iron Man worked. You made one movie that worked. 
Hulk didn't work as well, but it made a good amount of money where they're like, all right, let's try this again. Thor, first Thor is underrated, I think, a little bit, but it's still not that great, especially when you got 30 MCU projects now that are so much better. Like, bringing in one guy to come in and make this 10-year plan is stupid. It's stupid. And it's bad market. It's bad business. You're an idiot as a businessman, and you can sit there and tell me how you have all this money and I don't. Cool. But this is a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea to make a 10-year plan and to find a Kevin Feige. You you tried. DC and Warner Brothers, you have tried. Just because the new... I don't know why. How does a guy... Zazzy Boys really just must be an idiot. Because he's going to come and take over. Know that they have tried with different heads. This isn't the first time we've heard this Kevin Feige idea. They said it when they were going to do the DC thing and they tried it and they tried it backwards. And I still think that was the better idea. Do justice league first, then do all of these standalone movies. They tried it. It didn't work. They put too much on Zack Snyder. I know he's got his stands, but he, it just didn't work. It didn't work. Man of Steel's great. Has he made a great movie since then? No. And even man of Steel's divisive. I, I haven't seen a great Zack Snyder movie in a while. I just, it just Kevin Feige was a no one before this had happened. He had worked his way up. He was a producer on a couple Marvel movies. He's a, clearly a nerd, but he worked his way up, convinced the right people, made the right connections. And it just happened to work out that way. Not everybody can do that. And the CW is not a place to start for me for <laughs> like, I don't think you go get the guys from the CW who have put out crap after crap after crap for the last five years they have put out just garbage television for the last five years oh, yeah. um with oh, bad yeah. writing like if this guy's he's a writer like my guy it's been bad writing on the cw and i think i think it's i think playing in the wheelhouse of the cw has a little bit of merit and also doesn't have as much merit as it should because yes you are playing into this more teen style that you know but at the same time a great writer can play to that style and still make great content. And they weren't doing that on the CW. So for sure, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if he does take over and he wants to keep Grant Gustin in this flash and move him up to the big time, then I'm down with that. That's a great idea. But I think that's, uh, that's all you do. I think that's all you do. Uh, you could do, I don't know this guy. It just doesn't matter. DC, you're being stupid. You're just being stupid. I, I totally agree with you about everything you just said from, you know, Feige just being such a specific person that found his success to the uh, DC once again trying to, you know, have this big, gigantic 10-year plan when, you know, you should just rather start out small and work your way up. I'm totally with you there. And again, like, I'm not championing for Greg Berlanti to be the guy. I just am more willing to get the benefit of the doubt if he does become that guy. Um, but yeah, CW obviously is not good television. I mean, it, and it's not just coming from us not being, you know, that type of demographic. It just is not good television. But I do think that at least that producing experience for stuff that wasn't like the 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 best in terms of quality could help uh, for like future projects. Like with Kevin Feige and the stuff he had to produce in the past, you know, it was stuff from, I believe, those X-Men movies all the way down to the crappy Fantastic Four movies. Like it was a learning process. Like he learned the good from the bad. And if you want to champion Greg Berlanti, I think that would be a good way to champion him by saying, look, the guy, you know, made good seasons of Arrow and Flash, but he also had to make bad seasons of, not had to, but he did end up making bad seasons of all of those shows and more. And maybe that was a learning experience and maybe with better productions, higher quality, better writers, uh, maybe just more of a producing role. He can just let the artist be the artist, but at least lead uh, where the direction of these movies go. And again, I don't care about directions of a franchise. I don't care if they're connected or not. I'm personally okay with what Walter Hamada has been doing um, already and just making their own movies and just making interesting stories with these characters Unfortunately, it sounds like Walter Hamada is going to be uh, leaving after Black Adam comes out, which I wish they gave him more of a chance and more of a shot personally, but they're going to be searching for a new guy. And if it is Greg Berlanti, I'm not going to be saying that the sky is falling. I'm going to at least give it a shot because what can you do at this point, right? 
<laughs> like it's not to up me to the us sky's and... already fell yeah exactly the sky's already fallen what what's it gonna doesn't do? matter fall who... even more you guys know they're already in the toilet 